Welcome everyone, today I'm gonna give you a guide how to build a dark magician deck. So let us begin. First things first, let's get a good skill for our dark magician deck. So for the first uh, skill I would say would be good is to get magician's magic. Magician's magic allows you to normal summon dark magician without any tributes. And if you have magic cylinder or dark magician girl, you can add the original conjurer and magic and magical conjurer can dimension conjurer that magician's magic to your hand. So it's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good skill, I suppose. Okay. Dimension conjurer can add magic. You could use magic cylinder or dark magician girl to add dimensional conjurer from your deck. So yeah, that's pretty nice. So if you have Dark Magician in your field, you can add Secrets of Dark Magic from your graveyard. So pretty good skill. And I'm gonna show you how to get this skill. So you just click hit this button. Then you click Trader. And then Exchange Skills. And then for user search, you click Yami Yugi. And then you look out for the skill. There's no you cannot see this skill here because I already got this skill. Now for the second good skill you could grab. Says <coughs> Puddle Chronicle you can get for, from your mailbox. But I think when you see this video you, there is no longer mailbox. So you need to do the card trader thing with this skill also. So this skill allows you to normal summon similar to... <laughs> the Magician's Man. Uh, it also allows you to summon Chronicle Magician as a normal summon also. It allows you to normal summon Chronicle Magician also like Dark Magician. Also on you can summon Light Spellcaster level 7 if... I don't think I know any of them. Maybe there's a couple. Or you can summon Blue Eyes White Drag. <laughs> That's also a good one. Also, if normal monster is summon or chronicle sorceress or blue net successor soul. So yeah, a lot of stuff, man. Okay, and then we finally have Bane of Darkness left. And Dark of Darkness allows you to normal summon Dark Magician or Buster Blader, but you cannot you cannot special summon level two cords or yeah. Cannot summon level two or high level six monsters except Dark Magician, Buster Blader, and maybe Dark Magician girl. Probably you can reveal Dark Magician at Buster Blader, or you can reveal Buster Blader red Dark Magician to your hand. When you summon Dark Magician or Buster Blader. You can add polymerization or dimensional faith fusion. And dimensional visual fusion it allows your monster to attack multiple times. I didn't need to attack all the cards, so it's like the double-edged sword. So I think that's it for the skills. Now we're gonna talk about cards you need in your Dark Magician deck. First things first, Dark Magicians. Probably you're gonna need to run three Dark Magicians. So let's see how obtain all Dark Magician cards. You can obtain from Yugi starter deck when you, you select him as your starting character. Also, you could grind him in the gate, so or you can get it Kyber or Corporation Rank Duels. There's like three structure decks that can add your Dark Magicians, like Sword of Paladin, Secrets of Magic, and Magician's Chronicle. You can also get from Unlocking Arcana and Unlocking just normal Yugi Moto, and I think I'm also unlocking. <laughs> Yugi Moto from Dark Sides of Dimensions. So next things you need is definitely Secrets of Dark Magic. And how you will get that score? Just how to obtain is just get Secrets of Magician CX. You probably just need one copy of this court. Other courts. A lot of magic dark magician decks doesn't use this court anymore. But you could get it while you're in, you're still building your better Dark Magician deck. You just use a ticket or a, a, a 
just play in some events to obtain this card. <laughs> Next card will be Magician, Darkest Magician Circle, and you can get it from Future Horizon deck box or Secrets of Magic EX. Yeah, there's a lot of Dark Magician cards you need from Secrets of the Magic and Vision Horizon. There's a lot of Dark Magician cards, like in Dark Magician Circle. Yeah, there's, there's not a lot of Dark Magician, but yeah, we just mostly go for this box for the Dark Magician Circle, probably. Or you can get Secret Magicians, can buy multiple copies for real money. <laughs> Okay, then we have Dark Magic Curtain. You could get him from Arcana level up reward and do quest. And sometimes it's a login reward. Then we have the Magical Cylinder. It's just Secret Magicians. A lot of cards you need in Magic. And Dark Magic Veil is just like Monster Reborn for only Spellcaster monsters, but you need to pay 500 points. Also, you can summon it. Summon. Uh, special summon that spellcaster monster from your hand is just double summon plus monster reborn. So, yeah, it's just slightly better double summon and plus monster reborn. So, pretty decent spell. Yeah, you could run one piercing of darkness yeah, from this structure deck. Anything else we need to run? Um, Magicalized Fusion is also a good option. Especially for summoning Quintet Magician that I don't have sadly. Oh yeah, you need definitely at least one copy of Quintet Magician. And you can obtain him from Dark Dimension as a super rare, so you could have two copies. But Two copies of Quintet Magician is very situational. Also, hey, Alistair maybe is a good deck to run. Also, Gadget Man. Gadgets are goated, man. Gadgets are goated. For random tribute summons. Ah, no. Dark Magician attack is nice. Thousand Knives. Magic Cylinder for the, mag the, the Magician's Magic attack. Also, the Dark Magicians is also really good extra deck monster. Yeah, Eternal Soul protects your Dark Magicians, but sadly it's a strap card. Also, you can special some Dark Magician from your graveyard. It's like the Red Eyes card. Uh, pa -pa -pa. To return Red Eyes strap card. And also, you can uh, attack at the Dark Magic or Dark Thousand Knives. So Eternal Soul is really good, but you're gonna need to get, go to Link Revolution to get this card. But also Link Revolution have a Princess Illusion the Magician that's also a main stain in your Dark Magician decks. So what does Dark Illusion Magician do? Actually, you can special summon this card by discarding one card, then you can add Dark Magician. Really good starter for Dark Magician decks. And when discard battles, you can send your Dark Magician to gain 2000 attack, or when Dark Magician attacks, you can add 2000 attack to your monster. But it is then sent to the graveyard. And I think that's it for Dark Magician support in this deck. In this box. Okay, I think that's... Oh yeah, there's also Magician's Rod. This costs normal summon, you can add Spell or Trap Court that mentions Dark Magician. And when you activate Spell or Trap Court, you can sacrifice your Spellcaster to summon Magician's Rod back to your deck. So how do you obtain this guy? From Arcana level up rewards. Arcana, you could do Legendary Missions. So yeah, to unlock this guy, and also unlock a couple of Dark Magicians. So yeah, let's check out... Yeah. 
if you're playing Arcana and you want to use Dark Magicians, you can add Asian rules to your deck. Also, Blue Dragon Summoner is good. When it's destroyed, you can add a Spellcaster, Warrior, or Dragon that are normal monsters. So this guy is also a nice pick. Also add Big Eye, that just requires 2 level 7 monsters and you're, if you're playing Dark Magician you can have a lot of level 7 monsters. Basically it takes control of your of opponent's monster, that's really nice. Yeah but this card cannot attack or use effects so pretty good. You can also use Gaia the Dragon Charger, also a nice side deck, you could also use Iron Tell Illusion Magician. You can detach one material to summon spellcaster monster from your hand or deck and when your mon normal monster attacks you can banish one of opponent's monsters once per turn man okay. from pendulum genesis or magic magician's chronicle x and then pa 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 how do we get big boy from heart of xyz mini box that mini box has some decent cards Oh, so you could ask Vulgar, Darkness, Dragonlord. That's also XYZ monster level 7. Detached materials. Yeah, you can destroy one monster on the field. And it gains attack to. by 300. by, just, no, by equal to the level or rank by 300. But I think you cannot attack that one or something like that. Also, Red Eyes Flame Dragon. Oh, flame dragon, waves of flaming. Basically, it's a burn card. When opponent activates monster effects, he burns with them for 250. It's really good for cards that sp <laughs> spam monster effects, and that's most of the decks. Okay, I think yeah, this also hurt all the profession. Uh, Basically, you can dash one of his materials to destroy spell cards, but you need magic books to activate this effect. A couple of magic books are good. So I think more of clips counts. And I think that's it for rank 7 toolbox. Okay. Okay, also there's Eye of Tamayas. Oh, with Eye of Tamayas, you can. See Special summon any Dark Magician card. That's really good. So how? Let's see how you can obtain it. Okay, Guardians of the Rock mini box. Okay, that's good. I already mentioned the Prince of Illusion. This is you get it from the Magician's Chronicle. Yeah, a lot of needed cards you can get from Magician's Chronicle, man. So there's Magician's Navigation. So basically, Magician's Navigation allows you <coughs> summon Dark Magician from your hand and your deck. So for what pri price of this code, you can summon dark two Dark Magicians, but you need to, uh, to uh, resolve this effect one Dark Magician in your hand. So not the best card. And if, if this card is in your graveyard, you can navigate, I think, a spell or trap or opponent's going to just negate it until the end of the turn. So how do you obtain it? Let's see. Okay, Sorcerer's Paladin, Structure Deck and Guardians of the Rock. That's nice. I think we covered everything. Oh yeah, Dark Cavalry. This is also pretty good boss monster. Dark Magician and Warrior type monster. In attack for your spell card in your graveyard. In, and then attack the defense position monster and inflicts piercing damage. When monster's effect is activated, you can discard one of your cards to negate it. Uh, and discard it and negate it if you activation and destroy it. And if you destroy. Um, Discard one card to negate a card and you have some card that benefits from being discarded, you could get some major major advantage, man. So yeah, you can obtain this card from pa 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 God damn it. 
Mensur is of here, CX. No, Dark Paladin. So, Dark Paladin, you can discard. Pop, pop, pop. Either during your player's turn when special card, spell card is activated, pop, pop. you can discard one card to negate activation. Discard one card to distort, negate activation of the spell card. So, this gives 500 of. 500 tech for each spell card. I mean, dragon in your field. Oh boy, and you get this discard for Sword Paladin of EX. Okay. And then upon a high magician. This card is also good keeper of dragon magic. You can discard one card that any fusion spell. That's also nice. And you can reveal fusion material from your extra deck to special summon. And one of fusion materials, so basically you can reveal yeah, like this guy from your fusion deck <laughs> and then special summon Dark Magician from your graveyard that's a good one also Power of Guardians of Protein, now you need court good way to protect your monsters and also gives a lot of attack man also, spell book of power is also in this structure deck. Also, you sh should definitely grab Cosmo Brain. <coughs> so basically, you send a normal monster from your hand to your graver to summon Cosmo Brain from your hand. He gains attack equal to to the sacrifice. So basically, he's gain attack equal to. The, the, the level sent to monster. So basically, it's gain a lot of attack if you sacrifice low eyes or something. And then you can sacrifice effect monster to summon normal monster. So you can send an effect spellcaster monster to summon dark magician, but it may be even blue eyes. So yeah, this guy is pretty neat, neat, good, pretty neat. Okay, I'm gonna say how to get Buster Blader. The easiest way to get Buster Blader right now, I would say, would be to go to Card Trader, go to Box Ships, Exchange Cards, and then you could go to Filter and go to Warriors, so like this, and then sort by Attack, and then grab. A Blader with 100 box ships. So yeah. Now we're gonna show how, how to build a Dark Magician deck in Rush Bulls. So yeah, let us begin. First court is Cortin of Sparks. You just need... Yeah. When monster attacks and you have Spellcaster in, in your graveyard, you could... Yeah, attack a monster loses 500 attack. So you obtain it by... I, yeah, you could get one of those two structure decks, or you could go to this mini box. The next card is negate attack, negate set monsters attacks, that attack, negate attack, your opponents cannot declare their attack. You just buy this bundle, and negate to get <coughs> recovery force. You just send three spellcaster monsters to your graveyard, and draw card is just good uh, recovery tool. Just need go to seven new road. It can you can easily get three copies of this code or Redigations of Leon. What you just gonna get one copy? <coughs> the next one is Dark Magic Attack. This roll spell course and spell course opponent controls. Even you need <laughs> Dark Magician. It's upon the field, and you get it from seven seven new road box. And we have Dark Magic Court and pay 100 life points for special summon. I love any spellcaster monster, but it's better to summon high level ones because you can just normal summon normal spellcaster monsters. So, how do you obtain this card? Legends of Dark Mag Magic, another box, Talisman of Seal. It's a really good card, man. Shuffle for monsters in graveyard, that's pretty easy in Raju. Then all monsters opponent still loses 200 attack. That's really good. Cyber Dragon launch that currently has 
free mini box. That's why the way to obtain it. And you get guys this min maximum mini box. A really good mini box for rush builds right now. And we have <coughs> magician stream. If one spell casts the most one defeat, destroys one spell. Trap opponent controls. That's pretty self-explanatory. How you obtain it? Just a level up reward, but you need to grind a long time. We have thousand knives. Captain Magician, the Seven. Hard opponent controls. Oh, it's rank duel ticket. That's a hard one to get if you don't like to play rank duels too that much. And fire sorcerer because it's a strong vanilla monster. You get him from this box. <laughs> You could add more fire sorcerers instead of Dorito. Dorito is just here to buff 7 throat magicians to give him more attack because you need more variety of different elements. And you have magic dealer. Stand one spellcaster monster from your field. To your braver to draw one card. How you obtain this boy? Just 7 throat box I think is better than late vaccinator. And then... 7 road rage. So <coughs> you you send one card from your graveyard and if you have seven road magician or start magician da 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 you, yeah, your opponent loses 400 attack the, and you, you sell select another monster to lose 400 Attack. That's a pretty complicated card for Rajdul. Okay, pa pa pa. And then some card gets 500 inside no man. <coughs> That's a easy one. Pa pa pa. You just give it 4 cards, then before paying, and then you pay for 700 life points. And if there's Dark Magician or Dark Magician goal in your squid, of course you can special summon them. And then pop up place them in the bottom of the deck in any order. That's a, a really good consistency booster. <coughs> Another 7 throat sorcerer. Oh no, those are some complicated cards. You need to shuffle three cards from your grave. Basically you summon three spellcaster monsters to summon Seven Throat Magician, Dark Magician, and, and Seven Throat Wish, I think. Spellcaster, the most from Griever. Oh, just one Spellcaster monster. Okay. Okay, and then Seven Throat Magician. Yeah, okay, something like that. It's an easier one. You just send one card from your Griever and change the battle position of a monster. That's a lot easier to explain. Seven throat, which is a easy one. Just send one card from your graveyard, then special summon. One level seven card. If it's seven throat magician, it gains 400 attack points. <coughs> and dark magician goal, that's an easy one. This gain attack is equal to the number of dark magicians. So for max, that could be 3000 3, if both players have dark magician. Seven throw, this easy one, just an top card from your deck. It's a tech equal to number of different attributes into your graveyard. So it's good to have different elements spellcasters to summon this guy. <sighs> okay. Basically if opponents have more level 7 monsters in the field than you have, you can special summon this guy. And if there's more six or six Six or six spell cards or six trap cards it cannot, cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. <coughs> and I think that if, yeah, there's one card left I want to talk about in this deck. Yeah, Summoner of Sorcerer Burrito. Burrito sent to top cards from your graveyard and free damage equal to. Yeah, so basically, you send two spell two cards to your graveyard from top of the deck and inflict burn damage. I think it's pretty decent burn card. I, I definitely run summon sorcerer with Dorito in my decks. <coughs> and the magician shuffle. It's also good skill. 
basically, basically, oh, sec second on onwards you can reveal Dark Attribute Spellcaster Monster with 7000 attack. Uh, so basically, you reveal Dark Magician Girl and you can grab Dark Magician. Pa, pa, pa. So basically, you can select Dark Magician and then you grab Dark Magician Girl and yeah. Basically, you can switch out your Dark Magician Girl to summon Dark Magician or switch Dark Magician to summon Dark Magician Girl depending on the situation. <coughs> so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I probably explained it really poorly, but what can you do man? See you in the next video.